The interesting thing about when you sign on for a show is you really, you kind of are jumping and you have no idea what kind of storytelling you're going to find. And I think we both feel really lucky that the show has like addressed so many personal um, questions about these characters, but that is also having like larger commentary on other issues. So it's been really fascinating. I couldn't have even have guessed what the roller coaster would have been these past two years. And I feel the same way now looking at a season three. We really don't know what's in store. And we're just kind of like, again, just jumping and, and they always seem to deliver something really interesting. Yeah, I think that overall for both seasons, Rachel and Quinn have almost experienced the same emotions, but at different places due to different circumstances. And at the end of season two, they still find themselves exactly in the same place. So what have they learned? How, how, you know, how are they going to learn from the experiences? How are they going to move forward from yet another pretty catastrophic ending? And uh, it is funny because we really just shoot episode to episode. We do know, we get like a very, very like broad brush jokes of your character is going to go through this and they might have some of this, but you really, in hindsight, it isn't as detailed as when you see the script and you see it in your face and um, you know the whole revealing for me of you know Quinn going from not wanting kids and being nowhere near being maternal to then she meets somebody who changes her mind and then is upset that it wasn't necessarily that she wanted the kids but that she wanted the option and as an actor I got really excited that I was being given a character that could express something that I think a lot of people deal with and it's not a topic that's like openly talked about and here you have a character that's incredibly defiant and strong-willed and that for me was super exciting and had no idea that I was going to get to do that on this show and so early on by the way and so I think it does make us super excited about what our are we going to do next season? Where are we going to go? But I think we both both feel like we've fallen in love with these characters mm -hmm. so much um, that it makes the ride that much more enjoyable. A lot of it you're sort of just like putting the pieces together and like drawing through lines. Okay, that reflects that scene from mm -hmm. four episodes ago and that's the last season thread and so you're kind of piecing things together. But you kind of understand like what are the characters' boundaries, what are their issues, what are they needing to like have fixed in them. And then, you know, we haven't worked in, I've worked in, I've done one reality show. I have done. That's true, I, I wanted to say, I, I want to be honest and clear, I have done a reality show. <laughs> And, but it was um, Project Runway. It, no, it was so, Project Greenlight. Oh, sorry, Project Greenlight. Forgive you. It's sorry, okay. it's sorry. No, but more so than that, we work in show business. <laughs> so we can understand the world. But I think, you know, I've met with reality show producers, but I think it's more like we're more connected to these women's like inner turmoil, I would say. Like that is like something that we're really able to connect with. Yeah, so you could take these characters and put them in any world. So they're still going to be the same thing. They just happen to be producers on a reality television show, which I think for us from day one has felt like such an incredibly rich backstory because it's it's open for anything I think the perception still exists but I do believe that it is fading uh, I think it's always going to be there um, it's it's not the way people like to see women they like to see them as nurturing. I just think it go, you know, it's um, that women are meant to be nurturing. And so when you see them being dominant, it's like, oh, that's supposed to be the role of the man. But so much is changing. Men are staying home and women are working. Everything's getting mixed around. And so I do think it's going to change. And the, and the perception will change as well. And I think that the more women that are not afraid to show their power and their strength, the more people will accept it. That I think for us what's been so endearing and I think very heartwarming is how much women have been drawn to the relationship between two women as a friendship. And how two women telling each other they love each other 
has really cracked open a world that I don't think all of us were necessarily that aware of was lacking in our lives and that we should all be supporting and complimenting each other much more and I think that for us has been so great because this is a love affair and it's it doesn't have to be romantic it can be <laughs> <laughs> that's how we right. feel. But I did think for us, that's been, I think, one of the greatest, greatest um, things that has been coming from this show.